If you sell on Amazon, you know that the supply lines of almost everyone is having issues right now. A lot of people are out of stock. A lot of stuff is having trouble being received into Amazon warehouses, and it's causing a lot of issues. Now, I want to just cover two things today on what you can do as a seller if you're out of FBA stock and kind of how you can look for other people that are also out of stock. I mentioned I just bought a house and you know a lot of new stuff that I've got to buy and it has been almost impossible to find the exact color or style of things that I want. Now being an Amazon seller you should know this if you're having issues um, everyone else is having issues as well okay if you have the luxury of maybe having stuff in stock but it's not selling you can be a little cruel, right? And see if, if who else is struggling. Very simple example here. I was looking for bar stools. Personally, I do, I buy most of my furniture online on Wayfair. I think Wayfair has higher quality furniture than Amazon. All right, but we're obviously we're gonna use Amazon for this example. So bar stools. Scrolling down here. Now, I'm looking for, if I'm a seller, if I'm a seller that sells bar stools, I'm looking at these ship dates right now. It is, um, now it is July 30th. This video probably won't come out for a while, but I'm looking, okay, when are these available? Like three days, five days, fine. This one in stock soon, and it's got a video ad on page one in stock soon, and it's not in stock. So if I open this, I'm not going to get this for two to three weeks. Okay. But I just clicked on that video ad that cost them. So they're having the issue right now of their their inventory is being received in, into Amazon, but it's not yet for sale. So you guys know this kills conversion rates. And unfortunately, this doesn't always happen. For sponsored products, the, their ads might not be showing, but for sponsored brands and for sponsored videos, if you're receiving inventory, your ads are likely still gonna show. So first off, always know if this is gonna happen to your product, especially if your clicks are expensive. But what I'm saying, the kind of cruel strategy I'm thinking of here is if you have a bar stool and you've always wanted, you've always been envious of these guys, now is the time to bid crazy aggressive on their listing because people are going to come here and be so bummed out that they can't buy it. They're going to be very likely to click on competitor ads. Okay. Now, luckily they have this one. It says there's a new model and this one is in stock. Okay. But it's not really the same model. So again, if you have the luxury of having a similar kind of version to this, you wanna go crazy aggressive on them. Any of these guys here, if you're in stock, you see the best seller in your category is out of stock, now is your time to attack them, right? Because I've even been seeing that they will say, you know, try this item that's, that has a faster ship time. Amazon wants people to get, to get um, to get their products very quickly, okay? Same thing, kind of another similar thing here. I was looking for patio furniture. Um, I didn't quite pull the trigger on this couch, but I came across it and I saw only nine left in stock, okay? If you know this is your competitor, and I know this requires so much manual research, but there's just these very small things you can look out for. If you see someone is going to go out of stock, you start bidding on them right? You get you sponsor display, sponsor display, this spot right here. If these guys run out of stock in another week, boom, and you have another white patio couch, boom, go crazy on them. If you have another couch that's going to be in stock, number one bestseller, up your product targeting ads. As Amazon grows and grows and more out of stock issues are, are bogging people down, um, ASIN targeting ads are getting so much better because of this because Amazon will also obviously prioritize stuff that's in stock. If you don't know that when you're starting to go out of stock, you know, your ads can suffer a little bit because Amazon wants consistency. They want stuff that's going to be in stock to show for the ads. Now, just another kind of um, strategy that I want to, uh, I want to call to people. If you have a product line that is going out of stock, right? And I'm going to bring up clothing, something with a lot of variations. Let's go to bathing suits, okay? If you have something and you're starting to run out of stock, are these 
Um, let's do, I want to do someone, no, okay, Speedo. Let's go to Speedo, right? So, to let, I'm going to see, I'm going to try this out really quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a size, see if they're in, okay? They are in stock and it looks like they're, they're being delivered, right? But what I'm looking for here, here we go. XXL is out of stock, in stock soon, okay? So this is also extremely tricky to stay on top of. But what you should be doing in this case, if you have FBM SKUs for full bed merchant, what you want to do, and you know you're, you're not going to get in a lot of inventory for this in a while, you need to start segmenting out your FBA campaigns with your FBM campaigns. So it's very easy. You can take your FBA campaigns that have been running, right? Your, your autos and your manuals. You know what keywords convert. Just export those, create a new campaign with only your FBM SKUs. So those are separate. A lot of people combine those two campaigns. That's when you run into issues, okay? Because you don't want both of them getting, getting impressions in this, in this same campaign because you always want your FBA SKUs running, right? Those are the more important ones. But I've seen a lot of success lately because customers are used to slower ship times right now. So luckily, it's becoming a little more normal for a seven day ship time, a 10 day ship time. So if you segment out your FBM SKUs, get data on those, their ACOS is gonna be higher, but your margins on those is higher. So that's totally fine. Okay, so if you haven't done that yet, and you know that you have, say, 10 to 20 SKUs that are only going to be in FBM for the next month, pause them in your other campaigns, build a new campaign for them that's called FBM, so you can look at those separately and just keep the data separate, okay? That's one thing I've had to do, and we've actually been seeing pretty good success for it, because then you're, you're still getting traffic to your listing, you're still getting clicks. Um, and again, with FBMs, you have higher margins, okay? So those two strategies with out of stocks, I hope that you can at least do something with that. Um, and you know, like I said, last month, this is a very slow time in Amazon right now. So keep pushing, be a little more patient and we're hope, you know, luckily we're coming into Q4 soon.